Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a second website to your Vesta control panel. So you already have your control panel running. You may want to add a second website for yourself or for a friend, family member. It doesn't matter. So the step is this. You're going to add a website here. You're going to come to your Vesta control panel dashboard and you're going to click on web so that you can add a second site. And then remember that we are not using Vesta for our DNS. So you're going to have to go to Cloudflare and change your DNS settings, add the DNS settings for the website. And I'm going to show you all the steps. So let's get started. Just click on web and then click on add a new site. So first of all, let me go to Namecheap. I'm not sure which website I want to add. And once I choose a site that I want to add, I'm going to bring it back here. So let's say that this is the domain. This is the domain that I want to add. I'm just going to copy this domain. And the first thing that I want to do that I know is going to be an inconvenience to me due to time is Cloudflare. So I can add it on Cloudflare. Once I add it on Cloudflare, I'll come back and add it here. And then I will also need to change my DNS records to reflect the ones on Cloudflare. So we're going to do that in a moment. Before I add it here on Cloudflare, the first thing I want to export the dns settings for this because this is the one that i'm going to these are the same settings that i'm going to add to that domain so i'll just come here under dns and i want to export these settings i will click on advanced and i will export this there we go it's being exported down there after exporting this, I want to go and add another site. So just up here on Cloudflare, just click to add a site. And the site that I want to add is this. Then add site. And as I add it here, let me also come back to Vesta and just click on add domain. Okay, so back on cloudflare you can see all this is here but we're going to change all the dns settings i'll choose the free plan and then confirm plan and then confirm and while that's happening let me come back here so back here on vesta i want to add that domain just click on web and click on add and you can add the domain that you want to add i'll paste that in there we didn't install named so we go we go to uncheck that and then we want mail support and if you want ftp details to be different for this you can set up ftp details and then once you've set up the dns records and they're showing up you will come back here and you can set up ssl with less encrypt but for now it's not going to work so just with that you can also set up additional ftp and i'll just click on add so there's a space there Add. there we go the domain has been added so there the domain is added we are going to edit it so here these are the records that are showing up for for this domain so what i can do with this i can just delete all of them you know what i'm going to delete them in the next step it may give me issues let me just continue so i'm going to have to change this one as well so i'll copy this and I need to add this on Namecheap. So if you're using a different d domain provider, then just go to their DNS records and change the records there. So for this, I'll just scroll down. And when I come here, I can go to custom DNS. I will put the Cloudflare records, copy that. I will come back here and add the second Cloudflare records. And once I do that, I'll just click on that checkbox. There we go the dns records have been added and they've been updated here but they're still propagating i probably won't be able to access the site as of yet but that's not a big deal because we know we just have to wait for some time so if i come here under dns i want to delete all these records these are not what we want so the records that we want to use are the ones that we exported but first of all i want to edit it so show in a folder i want to edit it i just want to save myself time 
let me edit it with notepad and i want to replace every place my coupons.com i want to replace with the other domain so control f if you're using notepad plus plus control f and then just come on replace and replace with once you paste it in there just ensure it doesn't have any white space at the end and at the front make sure it doesn't have any white space and then we need to replace all okay so replace all and I think that should do then I will save it once again and I'll come back to Cloudflare and here on Cloudflare let me click on advanced and I want to upload my DNS file so I will upload so that's the one and then I will upload the file so there is one error but that's not a big deal we can just see what's the error and then we're going to rectify so panel 19 we don't really need this panel 19 so this is just to help us save on typing if you don't want to type you can upload you can export and then upload a records that's okay we want cloudflare to deal with that traffic ww panel 19 not really we don't need that and then this so if you need to create other subdomains if you need to create other subdomains then you're going to have to create them even these ns1s i don't need these ns1s ns records i don't need them these ones yeah these ones we need so if you need to create a subdomain under the new domain you'll have to create it here the way i showed you maybe you want to create shop dot or you want to create blog dot tutor you dot xyz then you're going to have to create a domain for that here and then you add the ip address so you remember all this these are some things that we've covered these are things that we covered at some point so basically that's how you add a second domain okay so i haven't tested anything but i'm sure that it's working the most important thing your dns records have to reflect on cloudflare and you have you have to add your ip address to cloudflare for the domain that you're using okay and that will make sure that your site is working so right now let me just check if let me just check if the records are showing up in dns So I can look up my DNS. Let me just use MX Toolbox. And I can also open this one as well. So I will paste in the domain. I don't have the domain. Copy. Come back. Add the domain. DNS lookup. Still showing the ones for Cloudflare for, for Namecheap. And that's not what we want so we have to give it some time once everything is set up once your records have been updated on the internet you can come back here and you can create your website you can add ssl as of now you cannot add ssl so this is going to work just give it some time okay so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one and i'll just give it some time to propagate on the internet and then i'll check it again to make sure that everything is is correct as it should be on cloudflare so see you next time